This communication is a paid advertisement for Versus AI Inc. to enhance public awareness of the company, its products, its industry, and as a potential investment opportunity. This communication is not intended as, and should not be construed to be, an offer to sell or a solicitation of an offer to buy any security. Artificial intelligence. It is expected to be the biggest technology in our lifetime. But how big? Well, the CEO of Microsoft, the world's largest software company, says this type of AI will replace all software. You see, it will be an agent that will drive your car, discover new drugs, regulate the grid, and even trade your stocks. And Versus AI, a $200 million publicly traded company, just embarrassed both $260 billion open AI and the Chinese AI player DeepSeek in a head-to-head -head AI challenge. Versus has been called the Apple of AI and will soon be launching Genius, a platform that will let any company, city, or country create agents for its databases and or devices. Here's how the technology has progressed. First, we had websites, then mobile apps, and Apple became the platform for apps. They generate roughly $80 billion a year from just 9 million apps for just one device. Well, with AI, we are now moving from apps to agents. These are digital workers. And you can probably think of them as like little digital robots. You can ask them a question or perform a task, and eventually they will be able to act autonomously. They are expected to be one trillion agents in the next 10 years. And just like Apple became the platform for mobile apps, there will be a platform for AI agents. But if they're going to be making important decisions for businesses and humans and acting autonomously, they must not only learn like a human, but also be able to explain how they made their decision. And you can probably imagine a platform that offered human-like intelligence for agents could have a value just a wee bit bigger than the Apple platform. I'll get to that in a minute. Now, many don't know this, but even with all the publicity with ChatGPT and all the other AI apps, that only 5% of US businesses use generative AI. That's what they're classified as, generative AI. Here's why. It is really expensive to build and maintain a model. It requires those expensive NVIDIA chips, uses an obscene amount of power, but here are the two biggest reasons. Generative AI cannot learn. It has to always be retrained. And I don't know many companies whose data doesn't change by the second. It can only work with digital data. Those apps are trained using words. You may have heard the, uh, the expression large language model. They do not understand the physical world. That is done using a world model. So using generative AI to drive a car or manage an electric grid ain't going to happen. This is how it all started for Versus. Five years ago, Wired Magazine said that the famous neuroscientist, Professor Carl Friston, may hold the key to true AI. It's when a machine can learn on its own. And at the World Economic Forum in Davos just a few weeks ago, Professor Friston said this about Versus genius. It, meaning AI, cannot be done any more efficiently. And by studying the fMRI, Professor Friston was able to identify how the brain learns from new data. That enabled him to create a self-improving algorithm which learns autonomously, just like a human. He essentially invented a digital brain. And when you combine the digital brain, or updating algorithm, with data that has been formatted in three and four dimension, like the physical world, just like a human understands, or the cause effect of data, you get the platform Genius, which is expected to launch in early 25. And Genius just may solve the industry's current $600 billion problem. Models can be built for a fraction of the cost. Agents can run on a simple CPU, no need for those big data centers or NVIDIA chips, and with minimal power. But here are the two most key points. Genius is always learning and incorporate both the physical and digital data. 
Versus got the world's attention when they did a demo of their prototype, Genius, playing, or actually learning the game, uh, the Atari game Pong, in minutes on a MacBook. Whereas it took Google's DeepMind a couple hours on a data center, using a data center, to get to human level play. But most people completely miss this in the demo. You see the green bars and the red dashes next to the blue paddle? You are seeing a machine learn in real time. And Bill Gates said that ability in AI could be worth 10 Microsofts. Now I have to define learning here and how it compares to other AI models. In the game Pong, let's say another ball is added to the game. In other words, the model or data changes. Now the genius agent would adapt, probably move the paddle faster, but the other models, they're toast. They would have to stop and be retrained for two balls. That is why Tesla cars crash for no reason. They cannot learn with new data. Now, this breakthrough, it wasn't lost on one of the world's largest AI funds. Shortly after getting funded by Microsoft, G42 took a minority stake in Versus. And then Gardner, the world's largest IT consulting firm, recognized it too. They identified Versus as a vendor in the most valuable quadrant, the innovation trigger. So Versus showed the demo, got recognized by Gardner, and announced Genius was built. Crickets from Wall Street. So when Apple backed out of the latest OpenAI funding, the hottest ticket in town, and then said large language models cannot learn, the Versus team, they decided to prove how their agent genius can learn and for pennies. They challenged the $260 billion value to OpenAI to 100 games of Mastermind, a game that requires reasoning or the ability to understand cause and effect in data. It took OpenAI 12 hours and $263 to complete 100 games. With Genius, it took five minutes and it probably cost a nickel. Again, Genius did this on a MacBook instead of a power-hungry data center. Most importantly, Genius was 100% accurate. OpenAI, 71%. Would you get into a car that was driving with 71% accuracy? Now, that got the market's attention. Stock went bananas. The first proof of Genius. And shortly after, the company raised $20 million. Since then, Genius went head-to-head -head against Iris, one of the top Atari uh, players. Boxing, Freeway, and Pong mastered those as well. And then when Chinese-based DeepSeek took $600 billion valuation away from NVIDIA, Versus took on DeepSeek. DeepSeek took twice as long as OpenAI and were even worse for accuracy, but it was cheaper <laughs> than OpenAI, but still nowhere near Genius. The point of this isn't that Genius can play video games better than the competition. It's that Genius Agent or Genius Agent can learn with limited and changing data, update its knowledge, predict and plan, all using a simple CPU and for pennies. By the way, Gardner, they listed uh, this year Agentic AI as their top technology trend for 2025. So how big could this be? Well, one of the top VCs in Silicon Valley said this about Agentic AI. The potential size of this market is hard to grasp. Somewhere between all software remember Microsoft CEO earlier, and all of human endeavors. Did that get your attention? Let me show you the big picture here with Genius. Okay, let's start at the bottom with the data box. This is all of the data stored in databases. Think of companies, financial records, sales, shipping, you know, stuff that's hidden behind a paywall. And on the other side, data will come from the physical world, cars, drones, weather sensors, and that is a ton of data. Now, if you were to compare all the data formats, if the amount of public content on the web, that stuff that's in Google's index, is a drop of water, the amount of data hidden behind the pay a paywall on the web is a lake. And the amount of data in the physical world would be an entire ocean. And up until now, companies have not been able to get reliable intelligence from its digital 
and physical data because of all the drawbacks with large language models. Soon, a company will be able to take its data from any provider, you know, your shipping, ad sales, legal costs, you name it, put it into the genius world model, not a large language model, where it will be formatted in a three and four dimension model, just like humans understand. Now, the world model graphic here, it isn't in three dimension, but I wanted you to see how when data changes, new connections are made and removed. A world model looks more like this. So when Genius formats data this way, it enables the machine to understand the cause and effect of the data. Even while it's changing, you can see what's happening from all angles and make predictions. Okay, now we go to the top. That's where the agents are created and run using the updated algorithm or the digital brain. There can be a separate agent for each part of the company's business, location, or an agent for each database or device. You can ask an agent about the data, you can instruct an agent to perform tasks, and an agent could also analyze the data and make suggestions or predictions. The number of agents, in other words, digital workers and, and uses and tasks for them are limitless. The best part they are always learning with new data. They're getting smarter. Now, see why that Pong game earlier, the demo, was a breakthrough in AI? Now, just imagine if every city, disease, or stock was a, an Atari game, and an agent using Genius could master the game to almost perfection. And now, the cherry on top. All of these agents will eventually talk to each other and share their intelligence, creating a network of intelligence for a smart building, smart city, smart human, or smart planet. It is when these agents start sharing their intelligence, that is the path to AGI, Artificial General Intelligence, the holy grail of AI. And remember that Apple of AI platform comment earlier? Well, Matthew Heaviside said this about genius. I feel very strongly that Versus and Genius platform will become a household name within the next 12 to 24 months. They are quickly advancing to become the Apple of AI. So instead of 9 million apps for one device, we're looking at up to 1 trillion agents on anything with a chip. The company has beta partners in almost all of the major verticals from pharma, auto, government, robotics. And so what's next? Well, the launch of Genius is expected in early 25, and steps are being taken to prepare the company for easier access to U.S. investors and U.S. markets. Versus trades on the OTCQB under VRSSF and on the NEO under VERS. If you want more information on Versus, please visit their website, versus.ai. And if you want more videos like this that help explain Versus, please visit VR ssf.com. Now, please remember, this is for information purposes only. It is not financial advice. Lower price stocks come with significant risk. Always consult with a financial professional before making any investment decisions.